guys. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. I have obviously moved since then. Um, I only recently got my computer set back up, so we'll be back to doing videos and whatnot. I have a few videos I still have to edit from before the move. A couple of dull dying ones. Um, just haven't got around to editing them yet. But this is an unboxing video, as I'm sure you've seen in the title. I am unboxing a buddy that I ordered for my Logan Dolls um, pan head. So, it is going to be a Doll Family H body with jointed hands that I ordered through Alice's collection. Let's see if I can get this box out. Um, I ordered it because the Logan Dolls body is supposed to match Fairyland resin. I had them match this body's resin to Fairyland as well, so hopefully the resin will match. We'll just have to see. This is my first time actually getting a Doll Family H box because my other Doll Family H doll is um, second hand. So let's see. There's also a bunch of shoes and jointed hands in here um, from Alice's collection. I will, <laughs> let's see, I did a good job at putting everything in here. Okay, let's go through the accessories first. Is that all of them? I think so. So I got some wig caps because I always need more because I keep losing them. I got some face protectors because I didn't have any. I got three pairs of shoes for this particular, well, no, this one's not for this body. This one is for my larger dolls. So these are some fancy large dolls. These are probably for Bob only. He's my only guy that's in the closer to 70 centimeter range. And these shoes are too big for smaller SDs. But I got for this body some tennis shoes which those are very nice um, these ones look a little girly if they fit this doll he can still wear them um, we'll have to see if not they'll go for my girl MSDs because this is excluding Earl who is my pumpkin headed dragon this is my first melt MSD. Let's see, this should be a little necklace because I just thought it was cute. I, if I can get it untangled. There we go. That's probably going to be for larger dolls. It's just a little. I'm not sure if my thing is going to focus. Hmm. This one maybe? I don't know. Anyways, it's just a necklace. And I got some suspenders, which this is for one third dolls. So let's get on to the important part. Let's see, this should be his COA, maybe, or it's just a brochure and cards. I think this is supposed to be a COA, it has writing on the back as if you're supposed to fill it out. This one is just a postcard. Um, I'll have to use my Google Translate on my phone to translate this and see if that's supposed to be the COA. Oh wait, no, it's right here. Yep, here we go, COA. So that's pretty cool. I haven't had one kind of like this before. So, my certificate of authenticity. That needs to go in my doll book. And then, 
get out to let's see if we can do this let's did they put the jointed hands on him or the unjointed hands? they put the unjointed hands on him This is my first pair of MSD jointed hands. So that should be fun. I know I do like Doll Family H's SD hands. And these are pretty nice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wire these or not. I usually try to wire my jointed hands, but it's so tiny. <laughs> Let's open the other one, the body. This is an interesting box construction. Looks like it's not quite glued in all the way. Giant SX, separate the hands. Okay, let's take this. First of all, I am dying to know. Yeah, that resin match is pretty good. The head is maybe a tad bit darker. Might be able to show it on this one. Ah. Um. And that is a nice body. This is the 46 meter version 3, I think it is. So let's get his head on here. Awesome. And here he has a wig cap. So that looks pretty nice. I am very happy. His actual hands are pretty awesome. Although, boy, getting these through sleeves would be annoying. So. So there we go. I've got a few. I've got a wig here. It's my only one that fits him because he has a teeny tiny head for an MSD. At least for all the ones I have because it's a 6-7. So we will. I don't know if this shirt will fit. Yeah, this is a little. Eh, it probably would. I should probably go with this one. Again, these are just clothes that I had to steal from my girl MSD wardrobe because I am going to have to make slash buy him some stuff. So this is just so that he isn't Nikki. Because God forbid we have naked dolls, right? <laughs> there we go. Wear a nice zip up hoodie. Now, hopefully these pants fit. Otherwise, I have these little leggings from Denver Dolls that. These I made, or rather sewed, for um, the girl dolls, so I am not going to be surprised if they are not stretchy enough to work on him. 
something about boy MSDs that just got really chunky thighs usually. Oh cool, it looks like they'll fit. So he has something to wear. Let's see, well, eh, he can probably wear these boots. If not, I'll put them. Oh, these don't zip up. Oh, I'm not up to that right now. Let's put these ones on them. So much trash. Okay. I'm not even going to bother lacing them up right now. We're just going to slip these on here. And get him a wig on. Now that I know his resin matches, I can do his face up. Because I didn't want to pre-do his face up if his resin wasn't going to match. Because if one was darker than the other noticeably, I would have um, probably dyed him. And there we go. So, oh. this is unnamed. I haven't thought of a name for him yet. I guess leave it any in the description if you can think of any. Um, I really love the body. Seems to pose pretty well. I'm really surprised these pants fit. Um, Yeah, I guess the wig isn't terrible. I have no idea what color I'm going to go with. I was thinking maybe a ginger for him. Um, but I don't know. We'll see what I can find. I'm kind of on a tight budget right now. Okay, well, I guess that is it. Uh, here's a close-up. Maybe. Let's get him not to focus on my head. There we go. So, like I said, this is Pan. He's the smirking one. Um, got the little dimple on his right cheek. Uh, looks like it's going to blow him out on this camera. So, hopefully y'all can see him over here on this one. Um, the body was... I'm going to take the shirt back off. I'll put it back on afterwards. I didn't look at it enough, I don't think. Um, yeah, the body is just super cool. And he can slouch like a boss, which I love making my dolls do, slouch. And lean back. I love torso, upper torso joints. I think this is my first time with Mm, well, maybe my first time with a male doll that has them right under the pecs like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well, that is it for this video. I'm going to try to finish up those other ones and get them out. This one will probably be released first because it's going to require less editing. Um, anyways, see y'all. Bye.